Uh. Brandon, Brandon, babe, this is getting out of control. Don't you think this is getting out of control? Do you see my walls and my tables that he chewed up on? This bitter stuff that we have doesn't even work. You're gonna have to fix it because I cannot take it. You got a lot to work to do, so. Put it on your to-do list. You're going to fix it. Don't you think this is getting out of control? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think this is getting a little out of hand. Really? Okay, babe, we finally got it under control. Thank God he cannot get downstairs on his own. <laughs> right? Oh, gosh. Oh, shoot. What? I had to take some the wives. Who's gonna clean Now that we're officially exhausted, <laughs> we just wanted to update you a little bit on T'Challa. So T'Challa is six months. He will be seven months, February the 1st. And as you can see, he's pretty independent now, but he's very spoiled, likes to play all day from morning to night. He wants someone to play with him, and when they don't play with him, he gets mad and, and gets an attitude and makes a little... Um, back kicking <laughs> movement um, but other than that he is crate trained he will get in bed at 9 30 and he will hold his pee and his poop until 8 a.m. but at 8 a.m. he is making noises and he is jumping out of his cage ready to go um, he's eating um, pretty well he eats twice a day lots of snacks sometimes three Sometimes three. Um, his favorite snack is still the bacon strips. He loves bacon strips. Oh, and he and peanut butter. Loves peanut butter and cabbage. He loves cabbage. Um, but we get him fruits, apples, pears, strawberries. You know the basic things that Google says dogs can eat. He will eat those. As far as all the toys, you see all the toys, he takes them out and wants to play with them all day. I have heard that at a certain time of the day, um, you should put them up so they won't play. And Brandon always says that you should keep the special ones, like the, the, the balls, the things you throw in the bins until you want to play with them with that toy so they won't get you know used to them. And when it comes out, it's special and they want to play. Because if you just leave them out all day, 
it's like regular furniture to them and then they really don't see them as, you know, a fun playtime and you want to have that playtime. You're supposed to have puppies on the, any dog on the set schedule and you're supposed to, it's supposed to know it's playtime, it's sleep time, poop time. Um, Charlie has his own bathroom and he, we have, we got puppy pads, um, cloth puppy pads and, um, the regular puppy pads. Um, we try to get the color so the stains won't show. Um, so he, if you see, he looks a little different. Not only has he grown, he's been to the groomers for the first time and I hated his haircut at first. Hated it. But I was sick and I couldn't go. So his dad took him. And you know what happens when children go with dads. They come back and go out licking all kinds of ways. Man, he gave the groomers a run for their money. They kept telling me, oh no, this is normal for a, a, a puppy's first time. Nah. He put the big old bulldog to shame. The little thing right here almost tipped over the, um, the little harness that they hold him by. He almost pulled that off the ground. The, uh, pit bull that was across from him just stopped and looked at him like he was crazy. Like he was going ham. They had to take him to the back, let him cool down a couple of times. Every time they brought him out, he just went crazy. There was one, uh, one, I guess barber or stylist, I guess you just call it, um, who could actually keep his attention. But probably by that time, he was already dog tired, literally. But it, it was crazy. All I wanted them to do is trim up his bum and to trim up his face so he can see out of his eyes and do his nails. But as you can see, he looks really skinny now, but his hair is growing back. Um, and it was kind of matted. His hair is definitely changed. It was matted, so I guess it's a good thing. The hair that's grown back now, is it as it, it won't get as matted. It's a different type of hair. Um, and he's still not shedding. Um, we brush him every day too. So yeah, we're trying definitely to brush keep him. the matting down. Yeah, because we're not letting that happen again. And I was going to say, you saw all the toys. He prefers bottles, um, soda bottles, the, the two liter soda bottles. He, that's what he prefers. He'll chase it around the living room, around the house all day long. Anything that he can chase right. and that he can't get his mouth on all the way, right. he's running after it all day. The, right. the determination out of this little one is amazing. Amazing. He, he will not stop mm -hmm. until he can get his mouth all the way around it. He can so bite stubborn. the crap out of right. it. Right. Bite it and, and make it small. <laughs> no, tear it to pieces. Tear it to pieces. So, you saw in the pictures, you'll see all of the areas in my home that he's chewed on he's gotten a lot better those are the only areas he stopped um and he's a lot better with biting he doesn't bite as hard anymore um brandon you know got him out of that um and pretty much it's just brandon's just loud with him he's firm no stop but brandon's definitely the disciplinarian i'm not very good he thinks he still laughs at me if he takes something he'll run around with it but as soon as brandon comes he'll drop it but anyway we have got this naturals well, if you can see it this naturals nah, um yeah wherever the camera is we got this bitter stuff doesn't work really he would just keep licking it so i don't know if i'm gonna add something else to it but um He's a little better. Of course, we got some chew toys that help sometimes. Um, what else? But as you can see, well, you can't really see him, but he sleep. When he sleep, when you wear him out, you wear him out and he's good. I actually have um, a sweet little girl in the neighborhood who, because of this pandemic, um, her dad travels a lot and she's missing her friends. She's going to the ninth grade and she's not able to see them so she will come and get to child and she has two brothers um they live in the neighborhood she'll take him for walks he's good at walks of course he's barking at everything and everybody um because he's just all not used bark, to people nobody oh barking nobody oh my gosh you come toward him he's he's afraid but he's just because it's just him he's spoiled so he's getting used to people but she'll come and she'll take him um for a couple hours she'll even take him to her house so he gets more action than me because I work from home and I stay home all day. So yeah, so I would I tell honey whenever you want to come and get him, you come and get him. Keep him overnight. I, I give him food, clothing, um, anything, toys. Keep him. Um, other than that, let's see. Um, we give him a bath maybe twice a month. 
um, were able to leave him for six hours now home alone, he still gets sick in the car. Um, but he has had two successful rides without throwing up. So that's a plus, two. Um, but they weren't very far. I don't know if we'll ever be able to travel out of town with this little guy. If anybody have any um, suggestions on car sickness, please let us know. Because every time I put my shoes on, he knows I'm getting ready to leave the house and he goes nuts. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm like, you can't come with me because I can't drive and catch your vomit at the same time. Yeah, buddy. All right. right, right. And um, he, he, he loves playing tug games. You know, anything he can tug on, he'll tug back and forth. Um, and Brandon started treating him, tra treat, teaching him um, little tricks and he's um, training. He can, um, he can sit, what else? Um, yeah, he sits, um, he can lay down, um, mm -hmm. he can jump. <laughs> of course, jump usually has uh, food involved. Um, but other than that, uh, we're still working on the rest though. We yeah. have to, I have to get some time where he's not distracted by anything else to teach him how to stay. Mm -hmm. Right now, that's what we're getting into next is the obedience training, just getting him to stay, getting him to uh, get up on things and get down from things. We went over it a little bit. He gets the, gi the gist of getting up and um, getting down, but you know, it's not hardwired in there yet. So we're gonna, we're gonna get to that pretty soon. But other than that, all the stuff to really just keep him safe, he's pretty much nailed, got that nailed down. Mm -hmm. Other than that, he gets zoomies at night when it's time to go to bed. He still runs, I think he was doing that before. He runs around like a little lightning bolt really fast. Um, and then eventually he gets, he gets tired. But he's humping a lot now, yeah. He will bring out his, he had a, he had a um, pig, but he destroyed the pig. Oh my goodness, you see all his toys? All his toys are destroyed, including my socks. He just bites them and bites holes in them, so I had to throw them away. So he bit the pig so much, he actually likes to bite her while he's humping her. That, you know, the stuffing started coming out, and I don't want to eat the stuffing, so I had to throw the pig away. So you like it rough. So, yeah, right, right. So now he'll... Oof. Now he'll take out his bed. That's what we usually keep the, the door closed. He'll take out his bed and he'll and right in front of mommy. And he'll just start humping it. And he'll hump it. And he'll keep humping it. I have to put it up. Like it's like, look at mommy, look what I'm doing. Like, why does he want me to see that? Why do it's like that he really wants to share that with me? Um but other than that, he's he's a joy. Had so happy, one of the best decisions we've ever made. Um, there were times where I wanted to give him up, but it takes a lot of patience, a few coins. <laughs> but he's our T'Challa, and we love him. And we appreciate you guys so much for watching. Please like and share, tell your friends, subscribe. We ain't, we ain't giving them up. There'll be more T'Challa videos coming soon. Because, um, of course, this little thing is full, full of entertainment. Um, but if there's anything you want to see, any products that we have featured in this video or other videos, um, just look at in the description. We'll have it all in our affiliate code, I mean, in our Amazon affiliate program. Uh, so just click on those. We get a small kickback from those, so please, if you're thinking about buying some stuff and want to order it, just, you know, jump down to those links and, you know, help us out. All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Stay safe, please. Stay positive. Keep your chin up. 2021, it's going to be a better year. <laughs>